If there's a job that I've been avoiding and I don't want to do it, that's not enjoyable. But if it is just things that I haven't made time for recently, but things that I really want to do, this is a fantastic time to do them. You are listening to the Decluttering Club podcast. I'm your host, Sarah Mueller, and it's my mission to equip women to declutter their homes, their time, and their lives so that they have energy for what matters most. In today's episode of the Decluttering Club podcast, I want to talk to you about something that I do from time to time that is incredibly valuable to my decluttering efforts, and that is what I call puttering. I was puttering myself this past Saturday, and I thought, we've never talked about this. And I think that some of you all already do this, but you think it's wrong, and you are judging yourself for doing it. So I want to put a name to it, and I want to tell you that this is actually a really useful activity, and we're going to talk about it. What is puttering? In my opinion, puttering is when you have a block of time, and maybe it's like 10 minutes, but for me, it tends to be like a longer kind of a thing, like maybe an hour or a couple hours, and it's usually like on a Saturday morning. That's kind of when I find myself puttering. But if I don't have anything planned or scheduled for the morning or for the day, sometimes very frequently, I will just get into this mood where I want to putter. And what that means is I am kind of walking around my house taking care of things. So maybe I'm going downstairs to get a cup of coffee and I realize it's time to clean out that inbox. Let's do that. So I spend a little time doing that. And then I'm like, I really had meant to hang up that picture. So then I go and hang up the picture. And on the way to hang up the picture, I notice, oh, the workbench is a little dusty and it needs a little bit of work here. So maybe I spend some time doing that. Now, I know a lot of you do things like this and you call it getting distracted and you call it going on a rabbit trail. And it can be. And sometimes it's not a good thing to just kind of go with the flow and go from one thing to the next, especially if you're not finishing things. But I do think there is great value in not having an agenda, in not being super planned. It's not like I set out to putter with a list of 10 things that I must do. No, it is more like I have a block of time. I would just like to do a little bit of work around my house. Now, I really enjoy doing things around my house, especially if I'm not under a lot of time pressure and if the list is voluntary. If there's a job that I've been avoiding and I don't want to do it, that's not enjoyable. But if it is just things that I haven't made time for recently, but things that I really want to do, this is a fantastic time to do them. Now, when you are puttering, you want to choose a time when you are not rushed. This is not about accomplishing a million things on your to-do list. This is not about a lot of high pressure. This is not about things that you don't want to do. This is the enjoyable little tasks that go into taking care of your home. So for me, some of the things that I tend to do when I am puttering are I might water my plants, I might repot some plants or trim off some dead leaves. I'm walking around the house putting things away straightening. If you have done our OLAB 2.0 course, you know that straightening is a really valuable activity. It's not something that you have to plan ahead for. You're just straightening your chairs. Maybe you're straightening the pile of magazines on the coffee table, things like that. I'm doing a lot of putting things away. And again, there's no agenda here and it's not rushed. But the important thing to know is that you do want to finish these things. These are little things. These are like micro tasks. And we do want to finish them. We do not want to start 20 things and finish zero things. That is not useful for you either. So be careful with that. This is not licensed to go and start a whole bunch of stuff and now you got a great big mess. Then you're in the messy middle, which nobody likes. And it is a chance to put things away, maybe make some notes about something that you want to buy or a phone call that you have to make or something like that. But you're just like taking care of your home And really, our homes are an extension of ourselves. So we're really taking care of ourselves in an unhurried, unrushed way. This is really, really enjoyable. When you are puttering, there are a lot of benefits that come with it. We're doing things that they don't require a lot of focus. They don't require a lot of brain power. It's not hard to put the socks away or straighten out the kitchen chairs. So we're doing things that don't require a lot of 
decision making and brain power. So it's a nice way to organize yourself. It's also a really nice way to wind down. You might want to plan five to 15 minutes of puttering into your evening routine. Maybe you spend a little bit of time at the end of the day before you go to bed. Again, just puttering. Put this thing away, recycle that piece of mail that you dealt with, grab that coffee cup that didn't make it to the dishwasher. A little puttering. Really, really enjoyable. Puttering can even reduce stress. If you can believe that, this is a really exciting like side effect of puttering because again, we're doing something low key. It's a little bit like, it's a little meditative. And when we kind of get into that zone and we're not rushing and there's not a lot of pressure, then that can really lower your stress levels. And again, taking care of yourself, taking care of your home is a form of self-care and that will absolutely ro- lower your stress levels. If you are finding yourself very stressed, take a little time and spend it in doing some puttering around your house. So puttering can give your brain a rest. It can get some things done. It's a little bit meditative and it will help you to organize your brain so that you feel more in control of your time and your life. I highly recommend it. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment below this video or go over on our socials and let us know, do you like puttering? Is this something that you would like to try out or that you already do? And what's your favorite thing to do when you have a little time to putter? Let me know. I'll see you next week, everyone. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review. It would really help us to get the word out. And if you'd like to continue your decluttering journey with us, find us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Decluttering Club or on our website at thedeclutteringclub.com.